All right, fans, I'm joined now by Coach Scott Matera. Coach, obviously an emotional week, not only for this team, but just for the whole community. What does it say about the heart and the determination of your team to come out here and get a big time come from behind win? You know, it's uh, it's obviously been a, been a I mean, there, there's no tougher week. There, right. There's no tougher week. And, you know, Angelina is on our mind and, of course, her family. And uh, a lot of us were out at uh, out at the church service last night. It was a beautiful tribute to her and everything. But, you know, we talked about, hey, this is something she loved to do. So let's go do it. You awesome. know, and, uh, you know, it, it's it's been an interesting week in that, you know, did different people had different relationships there, longer relationships, and, and some of our freshmen, you know, were kind of just, hey, we're here to support, and it, it was really, it was a really neat week to see us come together in that way, but, uh, you know, I, I, I actually thought we played through that part of it really well, um, you know, and it was, it was live for the moment type talks in the huddles that were, that were pretty darn cool, but, uh, how cool was the environment here tonight? Yeah, it's special. It's special for sure. So seven straight wins for your squad. You got a tough one tomorrow afternoon. How do you guys keep this momentum going into tomorrow? Yeah, you know, it, it's really execution. And I know that's that's a really cliche thing for a coach to say. But, you know, when things were going bad for us tonight, we just talked about the idea we don't have to be perfect. We need to make them be perfect. Yeah. We just need to be good. And, you know, I think we were trying a little too hard. We were a little hyped up. Yeah. I think the environment actually got to us, even though it was our home <laughs> environment. And it's yeah. like, hey, this is what we want, guys. Embrace this. They're here for you. And yeah, I think some people were trying to show off a little bit too much and had to uh, reset the mind and uh, just play good volleyball. And fortunately, we were able to do that. Awesome, Coach. Well, congratulations on the win. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Thanks, man. Thank you for Appreciate your time. It. Yes, sir. Good. All right, I am now joined by head coach Scott Montero. Coach, yesterday y'all would drop that first set 25 to 15. It really seemed like your team wanted to make an emphasis about coming out this afternoon and really getting that first set. Well, yeah, we, we came in this morning and uh, did a little extra serve pass and sat down and watched some video on some of the stuff, some of the little adjustments we were going to make, and uh, they executed really, really well. You know, I think a lot of it is we, we kind of joked with ourselves again last night, right. our, the energy in the gym with the drum line and everything, I think it actually made us a little bit nervous. And today you just saw them play for each other and play for having fun, and we, we put on a pretty good show today. I'm pretty proud of them. Absolutely. So y'all have TLU on Wednesday, but more importantly, next Saturday and Sunday you head up to Xavier. They're the number one seed in the conference, y'all number two. What's going to be the biggest key to getting a big-time road win? I, again, I know it's totally cliche, but it's execution at this point. We've got just about everything we do in, so now it's just executing consistently over and over and over again. You know, we talk about E plus R equals O all the time. Event plus response equals outcome, and we control our responses. So when things are going poorly, the other team makes a play, we make a mistake. How we respond and how immediately we respond is really going to be key against solid teams like that. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time, Coach. Great. Appreciate it, Congrats man. on the win. Yep. Yes. The volleyball team defeated Louisiana Christian 3 to nothing Saturday afternoon. They'll be back in action here at maybe Gymnasium on Wednesday at 7 o'clock against Texas Lutheran. For the Olo Saints Network, I'm Noah Rodriguez.